Welcome to Pokapat ABC Tanojang, Jungdung Dong Sapyan. Today is month four, day 12. Our first word of the day is serve. Serve. 한국말로는 봉사하다, 제공하다, 또는 날라다 주다. 영어로 설명하면 to work for someone as a servant or to distribute food. So 어떤 사람을 위해서 그 봉사하는 거나 아니면 음식을 제공하는 거예요. So serve means to work for someone as a servant or to distribute food. So someone who distributes food, you'd call them a server. A server. Or you might have a servant clean and serve food to others. So the act of serving is to do something for someone else, to help someone do something. Um, on, on a side note, in volleyball, when you hit the ball, that is also called a serve. Serve on Bista Marin, work for. Work for. 그 어떤 걸 위해서 일하는 거예요. 어떤 사람을 위해서, 어떤 회사를 위해서. Help, aid, assist. 다 도와주는 말이에요. So you might help someone do something. You might help a household. You might serve a household. So I serve the soup to the guests. 그 방문하는 사람들에게 탕을 제공했습니다. I gave it, I served it to each guest. The next word is shoot, past tense, shot. 한국말로는 쏘다 또는 발사하다. 영어로, 영어로 설명하면 to discharge or fire. To discharge or fire. So that means to discharge is 그 쏘다, 그 어떤 거를 빠르게 나가는 거고, 막 나가게 하는 거고, or fire, 발사하다, is to make something using, ultimately using fire, shooting something out of something else. 예를 들어, you might fire a gun, you might shoot a gun, you might discharge a bullet from a gun. So most of the time when we talk about shoot, we're talking about guns. However, we can also use shoot to talk about cameras in terms of a video shoot or a photo shoot. Shoot 랑 비슷한 말은 discharge. Discharge, 그건 어떤 거를 빠르게 나가게 하는 거예요. You could be discharged from a job or from the military, but you wouldn't be shot from the military. So discharge has a more widely used meaning. Fire, fire means 그 쏘다, 발사하다, to shoot out of something. 어떤, 뭐, 그 총알처럼, you fire something like that, a projectile. Gush, so if you said something shot out and it was a liquid, 예를 들어, water shot out of the pipe, you could also say it was gushing or spurting from the pipe. 그건 빠르게 흐리는 거예요. So the idea of shoot is something coming out of something else in a fast way. So you could say, he shot an arrow into the air. So he shot an arrow into the air. 그 사람이 공중으로 화살을 발사했습니다. 쏘았습니다. So he shot an arrow into the air. The next word is shriek. Shriek. 한국말로는 비명을 지르다. 날카로운 소리로 말하다. 비명. So, 영어로 설명하면 to utter a loud, sharp, shrill cry. Utter, 말하다, loud, 시끄러운, sharp, 날카로운, shrill, 그 높은, 높은 cry. 뭐, 소리, 소리를. So it means to scream, 소리 지르는 거, in a high-pitched voice. 예를 들어, 오페라 가면 shriek 들을 수도 있다. 아니면 무서우면 shriek 나을 수도 있다. So when someone shrieks, they're screaming in a high-pitched voice. So shriek이랑 비슷한 말은 scream, scream, 소리 지르는 거예요. 또는 screech, screech는 약간 조금 더 동물이랑 어, 비슷한 거예요. 예를 들어, an owl might screech, an owl might shriek, but Shriek, shriek and screech can also be used with people. So, if you were to talk about someone shrieking, 
You could say they're screaming in a high-pitched voice or they're screeching. So, if we were to use shriek in a sentence, we could say she shrieked whenever she saw a spider. 그 사람이 그 거미를 볼 때마다 날카로운 소리로 소리를 지렀다. 소리를 지, 지렀다. Yeah. 그 사람이 거미, 거미 볼 때마다 날카롭게 소리를 지렀다. She screamed in a high-pitched voice whenever she saw a spider. She shrieked. The next word is sightsee. Sightsee. 한국말로는 관광하다. 관광하다. 영어로 설명하면 to visit, 방문하다, famous or interesting sites. So it means to visit famous or interesting sites. Visit, 방문하다, 유명하거나 재밌는 관광지를 방문하는 거예요. To visit famous or interesting sites. So often you might see people sightsee via a tour bus. A tour bus. So 관광버스로 그 관광을 하다. They sightsee on a tour bus. You might go sightsee a statue. You might go to a new city to sightsee what's around. Or you might go to an old, an old, the old ruins of a city to see what was left by the last civilization, to sightsee on what it had to offer. So, sightsee랑 비슷한 말은 여행, travel, and visit, 방문하다. So, travel is 여행 가는 거고, visit is 방문하는 거예요. So, we only had three days to sightsee. 우리는 3일 동안만 관, 관광할 수 있었습니다. 우리는 3일 동안만 관광할 수 있었습니다. So they only had three days, no more than three days, to sightsee, to look around at the famous or interesting sites.